What's going on, ladies and gents? Dalibor here for T3G, along with... Here's... And today is our second, technically... Technically. Technically, second... The first start. one was in a review, so yeah. I don't know if that counts or not. I mean, it's in, it's in the playlist. The first one was in the review. Yeah. But it is our... Let, let, let's call it our inaugural official story time Saturday. We're going to try to do this every Saturday. We're going to try to do this every Saturday. We'll come up with different stories, maybe bring other people on, yeah. just to, to talk about some stuff. And uh, the, the first thing we decided to talk about is how we met our wives. Aww. Right? It's adorable. It's, it's adorable. cute. adorable. <laughs> Get out the tissues. Get out the tissues, yes. Um, I'll, I'll go first since you're driving. I mean, whatever. <laughs> so... I, I met my wife on uh, OK Cupid. Uh, I was I was probably six or seven different communications in with different girls and all that. Met a couple of them. You know, it just didn't work out. I, I was kind of starting to give up on online dating, and uh, I, I saw this. I saw one girl, and I was like, "Hey, it's say she's." Got some interesting photos. She's got. Uh, she was doing. She, she had photos up of her in like period outfits, kind of like Halloween costume kind of stuff. But it looked like she had been in like the medieval times or whatever. Um, you know, with the, the boobies pressed up. I mean, I'm, I'm a man. I'm, I'm looking. <laughs> I mean, are you looking? So. I was like showing her off to my friends. Well, guys, check this out. We, we guys, should, should I message her? And they're like, do it, do it, do it, do it. And I did. Unbeknownst to me, she was actually getting on to cancel her account, to close her account entirely. She was just done with online dating at that time. Just and like you. I, I, I was being disheartened with it. I wasn't going to close my account anytime soon. At, at the time, I was pretty much like, someone please love me. <laughs> I just want to be loved. Just give me some love. But, uh, so she was going, she, the way she tells it is she was going on to OkCupid to close her account when she saw my message. We we kind of went back and forth for a few days, and uh, I asked her, I asked her what was an album, because, like, music is a big thing for me. I'm a huge fan of music. I like all types of different music, but I am at at my core, I'm a hip hop head, so that to me was like I need to know what her go-to jams are. So I was like, "What is an album that you could listen to any day of the week?" And she says to me, "Thirty Thirty." Never heard of it at that point, so I put it on, and I actually put on the track Thirty Thirty from the album Thirty Thirty, and it starts off kind of like you know, weird, eclectic, like, you know, different kinds of instruments, uh-huh. and I'm like, yeah, this is, this is okay, this is cool, uh-huh. she's into some weird stuff, and then, like, 30 seconds in, he just goes into the verse, and it's Deltron 3030, if you don't know, look it up, and I realized who it was by the voice, now, if you don't know who Deltron is, and you're not going to take the time to look it up, if you've ever heard Gorilla's Clint Eastwood, the rap portion is Deltron 3030. That's his voice. He did that portion. Okay. I love it. I, as soon as I heard that, I paused the song, I went back to the chat, and I was like, listen, no matter what happens, we need to be friends. Here's my email. Here's my phone number. Hit me up on Facebook. We need to, like, th- like we're already, like, simpatico, and at some level, we need to talk, but whatever. And... That turned into probably like three, four more back and forths, and the way she says it, she was kind of getting sick of me, like not making a move. So I think she was the first one to bring it up, like let's let's meet up. And I was like, yeah, absolutely. And she's like, there's this bar I've been looking to check out in your area, and she's like, it's called Bigsby's. I Google it, nothing. Now I'm like, let me let me like have some fun and kind of say. You know, maybe maybe she misspelled or whatever. So I'm like, listen, if, if you don't want to hang out, it's cool. I, it's fine. I, it's not a big deal. And she's like, oh, no, no, no. Like, I misspelled whatever. Gives me the name. 
She's like, all right, cool, Saturday, 2 o'clock. I don't know. I don't know from bars. I don't hang out at bars at this time. I'm like, yeah, cool. Meet her there at 2 o'clock. Place is dead closed. They have they are they don't open till four. And I'm like, oh man, like I feel like I just got like punked and I'm sitting there and I'm like I'm in my car and I'm like He did. I'm, I'm like I'm getting more of the story is he did. <laughs> yeah, and that was actually a completely different girl. No. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm gonna get punked. This is this is dumb. Like I, I can't believe like I like went through this whole thing and I'm I'm at this bar at two o'clock on a Saturday. I'm like, no bar is open this this early. And um uh, like five minutes later she shows up and she's like oh like I've never been here before I don't know what times they're open you know that I wasn't uh, you know I wasn't trying to blow you off or anything and we end up going to a um, a Mexican joint in the area called La Campana and I was at the time unemployed and she I wasn't expecting her to pay so I was like listen we got you know we can get some beers and we can get some, some we get like the the, ta- the the chips, chips and salsa, and that's it. The, the our waiter realized that we were on a date, and he brought us some shots. He was like, "Hey, you guys want to try these?" And I was like, "Yeah, cool." Are you paying for it? <laughs> um. So he yeah, he just brought us some shots to try out, just to kind of loosen the mood, which I thought was really cool of him. And then we went to a, a Bosnian, the, the Bosnian place in Carroll Street, the, the store. So where she, she like, so she, unbeknownst to me, was someone who had learned. Right, I was thinking about that. That might be annoying for a while. Uh, she was somebody who was. She studied uh, Balkan history. She studied in Bosnia and Serbia, uh, Eastern Europe. Like she studied Eastern European culture, like as a as a school subject so the first time she told me that she spoke bosnian i was like yeah yeah, sure like some 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 asshole bosnian taught you a few swear words and now you speak bosnian sure whatever and uh she gave me her email the first time she gave me her email for like chat or whatever it was her you or her yahoo email which at the time i was like who still uses yahoo (laughs) and um it was uh it was the whole thing was in bosnia uh, and it was, uh, like, in regards to a band. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you guys where our email is. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> but, uh, so I was like, wow, she actually might be for real. And then she actually didn't know about this place. So she was like, oh, I've never seen this place. I didn't know this existed. So I was introducing her to some some Eastern European slash Balkan culture that she didn't know about in the area. While at the same time, we, we spent, like, nine hours that first day just talking and just getting to know each other and it was uh it was like a super i think it's probably my favorite first date of all time which makes sense you know i married her so is that <laughs> how you met your wife that is how i met my wife excellent i'm not gonna tell you guys how i met my wife all right so my part of the story how I met my wife. Oh, no, that's that's going to be annoying. So the way I met my wife is uh, I stalked her. And uh, and that's the end of that story. She liked the whole stalking aspect. And uh, she went with it. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, no, but I'm not lying completely. <laughs> the way it worked is I was my best friend's best man at his wedding. And she was the photographer. She was known by the wife uh, at the time bride Uh, she was friends with the bride and uh, I've never met her and I saw her uh, when we went to the house to pick up the car so we can drive into the hotel and I saw her fast and I was like I need to as soon as I opened the door I was like I need to make sure I speak with her Uh, no matter what I do throughout this night I need to make sure I speak you're like I know the best man at this wedding but damn that, I gotta talk to this girl. I gotta, that's right, <laughs> that's right. So, after the ceremony, we get a limo to drive us to the reception and obviously the photographer is gonna go in the limo, so stretch limo. I'm sitting, I get in there first and I sit on the long side of the limo. 
and the one guy that's already married he sits in the back seat where the photographer is going to sit and in this case this is my future wife to be and uh, i look at the guy i'm like ah, ah get the hell out of there you switch with me i'm sitting back there you're married i straight up kicked him out of the seat nice and i sat back there and she had nowhere else to sit but next to the best man uh, and yes. i am the best man uh, and go. uh and so tricky, tricky. and i was being a little a little tricky but she ended up sitting next to me uh you know the way the seats are a little uncomfortable in the back seat you got to put your hand around her uh, hold her hold her photography stuff and you know you got to do the things to do to impress a lady right and so after that i was hoping she realized what i was doing and then we were having a bunch of fun before the reception started uh we were having fun uh it was a two-story place where everybody was setting up and changing and getting ready for the reception part and we were doing some uh, Romeo and Juliet the lines because nice. uh, the way it was set up and she was watching us having fun and I was definitely having more fun than you know my normal self at the time I was really shy not really spoken with friends I was really spoken but not normally in a big crowd and stuff like right. that and um, and so you know I was trying to do everything to make sure I got noticed and then once the re reception started we did our speeches. I was sweating like a, I, I, I hate, which is awkward, or not awkward, which is ironic because we do YouTube now. Right. But I hate speaking in front of big crowds. I start getting and really no nervous. Me, yeah. I mean, true, but a lot of people are watching this and sure, they used sure. to also get in my head, right? Sure. But, you know, you learn to adapt and change. Uh, but, so... I did the speech, I was crazy nervous, I was sweating, and I'm like, I'm sure she got that on camera, I mean, she's got these lenses, I'm like, there's no way, there's no way that she didn't see how much I was sweating, that can't look good, <laughs> right? Like, it was bad, guys. So, reception ends, you know, everybody does their speeches, the dances, all that's done now, everybody's mingling and stuff like that. She was gonna finish up and about to leave. Well, I got right through, right to her after, once everybody started walking around to mingle, and I just would not leave. I stalked her. Everybody says I stalked her, and I did, guys. Not only at the limo, but at the reception, absolutely. So you were just in her presence. I was in her presence. She couldn't say, I mean, she could say no, but she couldn't get away that easily, so. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you weren't so, gonna take the first seven no's. Uh, no, the answer. first seven no's were not acceptable, and um, and so I got to talk to her. Uh, you know, you gotta you gotta ask about her. You can't talk about yourself. You want her to feel important, so you gotta always try to keep the conversation towards the lady, guys. This is some hints. I mean, I don't know what I know about helping. helping what you. do I know about picking Listen, up? Listen, we're both married. I think we can at least. But uh, some nuggets of yeah, but you gotta you gotta keep the conversation going, and the best way to keep the conversation going is to have them talk about themselves. So try to figure out the question you need to ask, and ask them. And a lot of times, when I'm in a situation like this where I don't know a lady, I'm really quiet. It gets awkward. I'm not really asking questions, right? Because I was a shy guy, and even my friends, even my friends were like, I've never seen Harris have a conversation like that with anybody that he didn't know right like that was out of the norm right even for my even my friends were like what is happening right now right and uh at the end of the night she i got her to stay throughout the whole entire night all the way till it ended till it was cleanup time for the reception i got her to stay she was ready to leave after half hour into the mingling right after she got all the pictures of all the tables with the right. bride and groom right, right. she was ready to go and i didn't let it happen right i was like no have some drinks with me i got some, a few long I, which i will still argue till this day she was like oh you were a little tipsy that's what helped and i'm like i wasn't even the least bit i swear to god those long islands were weak i feel like they were 
teas and no Long Island aspect of it's it. Just iced tea. Just tea. I uh, think if you won and then they're like, listen, we're out of alcohol, just give them iced teas. Yeah, just give them iced teas and <laughs> let them believe. They He's already had know. one. He won't know. He won't know. Um, so I was not feeling tipsy whatsoever. Uh, no, no, nothing different than what you're seeing right now, right? The way I was right now, or the way I am right now, talking, smiling. Except he had like, that. like hearts in his eyes. I had hearts in my eyes, and um, ultimately, the way the night ended, uh, you know, we said our goodbyes. I could have sworn I hugged her. She claims I didn't. I didn't get her number though because I knew she lived in Tulsa. So I was like, well. You know, if I didn't make an impression and she's not gonna do anything, okay. Uh, Interesting. What do I know, right? What do I, like? What? It's not. You know, I'm assuming it's not gonna happen, right? She lives in Tulsa. Uh, it's, she it's is hard from. To, she, hard to initiate. Right. Exactly. She she's from Illinois. Her family's from Illinois, so I knew that much. But she lived in Tulsa, so I'm like, well, you know, I did what I could. I spoke with her. I make sure I initiate the conversation. Right. Stuck with it. But at the end of the day, where do you go from there, right? right. That's a very long distance relationship. Right. Some people have done longer. I'm just saying that's a few states away. And so later on in the night, I get a Facebook message mm. and it's her. And, uh, you know, she, 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 it gives me a little making fun of, you know, that I didn't ask uh, uh, for her number or something like that. And uh, ultimately, that's. That's how I met my wife. That's how we started our relationship that summer. Uh, she was a lot in Illinois. She stayed a lot throughout the summer in Illinois. So we got to spend the whole summer together. And uh, at the end of that summer, I said goodbye to everybody. And I moved to Tulsa yeah, for a year. Yeah, he calls me one day and he says... Uh, and hey, then we uh, started T3G in Tul while I was in Tulsa. And he says, hey, uh, I'm uh, I'm having a, a going away party. And I was like, oh, for who? He's like, for me. I'm like... What, what do you mean for you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's like, oh, I'm, I'm moving to Tulsa. I'm like, nobody moves to Oklahoma. Right. I would, like, people go through Oklahoma. But nobody, nobody moves, moves to, to like, on purpose. You might, like, get a flat tire and get stuck there for the rest of your life. <laughs> you don't ever go to. You don't like, purposely. Right. And he's like, oh, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna go move in with my girlfriend. And I was like, oh, you're moving for love. That's love. That's <laughs> you're love. moving for love. Uh, and, That's yeah. different. And uh, that's that's it. And then uh, we lived for, together for that year. Uh, after the year or about the year mark, you want to uh, a ring? I proposed. And uh, about a year later, we got married. We moved back to when Illinois. Did you know? When did you know? This is like a bonus round. When, when did, did I you know? know that you were going to propose? This is such a cliche. Oh, when did I know when I was going to propose? Not when you were going to propose, but I was like, when, when did you know? When were you certain? This woman was gonna be the one. When I saw her the first time, and that's wow. a cliche. And that's a cliche. Wow. Even I won't say that. I, the, the minute I, I saw her, I, I knew. The I, minute I saw her, I said, "If I don't talk to her, I will regret it." Wow. The, I swear to you guys. Okay, I, so you knew she was gonna be one of the great ones. Do I knew the in because she instantly when I walked in through that door, never seen her before. Mm -hmm. The only thing I saw walking through that door to grab the car keys to get all the cars to the hotel was her. Nobody else. Ooh. She was the first thing that grabbed my attention and didn't stop. And wow. she didn't even. She didn't even. She didn't know she was doing it. She, she didn't did, even did, pay, did it on accident. Like, yeah, no, a complete accident. She didn't even acknowledge me, but she, she got, got married. She got married on accident. <laughs> yeah, she got married on accident. She didn't even realize what happened. And that's it. And that's for me, for me, it was our second date. I yeah, told, no, and I tell I, Erica this all the time. I was like, it was the first time that you made me food. Oh yeah. And well, was, that'll that'll that, do it. Here's the thing. Here's you the make thing. some good food. The, our, our, the first date was amazing. Our second date Listen, was the like the best way to a man's heart is through his stomach. That's what I hear. That's what I. Hear. <laughs> uh, the, the the second date was I think like a week later, like three. I don't know. It was like a, a decent time frame later. Right. And um, she was like, oh, I'm going to my friend's house. Like, she had said that she was going to her friend's house for dinner. Right. Like, the, on the first day. Because her friend was from, from Bosnia. Sure. And uh, I was like, cool, whatever. I didn't, I, mean, I didn't really think about it much. And then I'm hanging out with Josh and all them for, like, it was a, a bonfire. Right. Well, just chilling in his backyard. And I'm sitting there. Like swooning over this girl, just like thinking about like, oh man, like, oh this girl was cool as shit. Yeah. And like I'm chit chatting her, I'm texting her, 
And I was so less confident back in those days. So it was one oh, of those yeah, things, for like, sure. If I didn't have constant contact, I was like, what the fuck did I do wrong? Yeah, same here, man. So, same here. But, but at the same time, I was also super nervous and shy. So, like, you know, like I said, like, a few days after we had gone out the first time. Right. She's like, oh, I'm ha- I'm going to my friend's house for dinner. Do you want to come with? Oh, man. And I was like, oh, shit. You want me to meet friends? Oh, oh this and is I was like, level. And I, like, I look at the group. And, like, you know, there's like eight people there. And I was like, she wants me to go to dinner, like, at her friend's house. What do, what do you do? And everybody's looking at me like, go. <laughs> what the hell? What are you thinking about? Go. What's there to think about? I'm like, but do I want to meet her friends on the second date? And they're like, yeah, go. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Uh, but yeah, yeah, it was. It's a cliche. It's it's the biggest cliche probably on the earth. But yeah, it was when I saw her. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Yes. Well, here's the thing. For me, it was because she. So she. We went, and it was me, uh, her friend, well, former friend, I guess, whatever. Gordana's uh, husband and uh, their other friend's husband. We were all chilling outside talking, and like it was. It's this. It's like the most chauvinistic I feel thing that I could say was the reason that like I knew. But it was like, it was it was me and me and the other two dudes sure. were chilling, talking sports and yeah. bike. The the one dude had a bike. Yeah. So we're talking bikes and cars sure. and you know whatever, and like they're making dinner and like to me and it's not even like I feel like that's how it should be. Sure. That's just how I was raised. Like the women were always in the kitchen. The women always like the the, the women made. I do want to point out that there's a nice cars around us because we're leaving a car show. So yeah. Those car sounds are amazing. Uh, you know, like th- that when I was a kid, like my grandmother made food for everybody, and oh, that's sure. what brought everybody together. Yeah, so, like, when my one my, my wife, when my girlfriend, my girlfriend of two dates, not even of like officially, dates. right? My like, I, I, it, I, it hasn't had even, that conversation. It hasn't yet. even been. So are like, you gonna go steady with me? <laughs> right. So, like, the second second date, you know, and she's making me shopska, which is like the Bosnian like the salad, like. It's how it's like our, well, since, our diced fruits and stuff like that. So she made me yeah, this. Somebody, yeah. the, one of the other girls made one thing, and so like they made this feast, and I'm like, and I I felt at home, and that's that's that was the whole thing. Yeah. Like she she made me feel at home, and I was here's like, my, here's that's, my question. That's so the thing. so you asked a bonus round of how, when did you know? Here's my bonus round question. Uh-huh. How did you ask to uh, become official? Oh, dude, it was so dumb. It was so dumb. Oh, it, it couldn't be dumber than mine. Oh, I bet you it could. So after that second date, we're in the car. We're talking, like music. We're listening to music. We were in our, uh, we we're in my, my old apartment. Uh huh. Just in the in the parking lot for like three hours after this like six hour dinner. Right. All right. So it's like twelve thirty at night. She's like, I gotta go. I'm like, cool. And. Like you know me, I, like, you remember me back then. Like I had no moves, dude. I had no yeah, moves. Yeah, no, I got so you. So I'm man. like, hey, you know, hey, it's, it's about as many seat. moves as me. It was, Maybe like, oh, one more. Good hanging out, hug, and she's like, I'm gonna make it not awkward, and she gave me a kiss, and I was hey. like, that's fucking like great, right? It was, oh god, it was such a chop. You gotta understand, I was 20. Well, here's the thing. 26. Here's the 26 thing. 26 years old. Yeah, time. no, I get it. And then that night, so that night. That's about how old I was. That night, that night, or like the next night. Still. It was, uh, it was on, on like Yahoo Chat. Well, let me through Trillion. Right, right. Remember Trillion? Oh, I remember Trillion. Trillion. So, yeah, still I was a using thing, Trillion. I was using Trillion, and we were talking, and I was like, so, and I asked her like in Bosnian. Right. Because I was kind of like, because yeah, sure. Oh, that, like, that, that, how wonderful. Well, was just, but it was like yeah, online. Yeah, no, dumb. I got you. But here's uh, here's uh, for me. Uh, well, the kiss thing happened on the first day. We kissed on the first real date after uh, we met at the wedding. Oh, was it like at the wedding? Like no, no, no. Taking some of the thunder away. No, no. I <laughs> see. I didn't consider that a date. I considered that a introduction, but sure. that wasn't a date. Sure, sure. We went on a true date, and after that, we definitely kissed. Uh, and uh, but I didn't it's consider. A smile. That's how you know he's in love. <laughs> like, like we kissed, and it's just like big smile. But I didn't consider it. I didn't consider it official, sure, right? Sure. I considered it a kiss. It was a sure. kiss between I'm, I'm, two I'm people that enjoyed a evening. If you don't have that conversation, it's not official. Exactly. So finally, about a month or two into the summer of dating, we were in her backyard. It was nighttime. Family is asleep. And uh, it was such an awkward thing because 
when you're when you're in high school, when you're in when you're in school, it's so much easier. You're like, ah, oh, are we gonna date? You know, Ooh. cool. So we're going out, is. cool. Like it's not even a steady, right? It's it's just ah, oh, we're gonna walk, we're going out. All right, cool. We're going out. We're we're a couple. Right. That's not how it is when you're out of high, out of high school, out of you're, college. You're an adult, when you're an adult, you don't know how to ask that question. It's not like so. Are we? Are we a thing? Are we is a this thing? a thing? Is this a thing? Mm -hmm. So I, I said it. I said it in the most sensible way that I could think of, which is like, are we? Is is this official? Are we? Can we finally say that we are officially uh, a thing? You know, that's how I asked it, uh, and. She ultimately, she's like, is, is that how you're asking? I'm like, listen, I have, I was trying to figure out multiple ways of asking you. I have I no it. idea how I, I should do it. So that. that, yes, that is the way I'm asking you if we're officially See, I feel dating. like you still kind of went around in a cooler way. Like, I flat out asked Erica. Are you, will, will you be my girlfriend? No, nah, see, I didn't. I didn't because I didn't <laughs> see, know like, if that was... Because in high school, that's okay, right? right? In high school, hey, it's cool to say, you want to be my girlfriend? As an adult. That's not a cool thing. A way of I don't I, think I'm don't saying it. That's, that's what I'm saying. I think mine was mine was uh, mine was. So so it was it was um, it was a thing. Yeah. Uh, but I did. That's how I ultimately ended up asking her. It was about a month or two after dating during the summer, and I said, "Are we are we official? Are we uh, are we officially a thing?" And uh, nice. She said, "Yeah." Nice. And then I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> But that's it. That's uh, I think that's it for story. I think the story time. But it's story time. You really got to tell the story. You got to sell you gotta the story. You got to get in there in the, in, the, in the depths of it. The, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was in the car. I hope uh, the audio is good. We're doing this part on the GoPro. Last one was on his uh, handheld camera. So hopefully... <laughs> the Nikon so hopefully everything came out great hope you guys liked it uh, we're gonna try to do as many of these on Saturdays as we can these are gonna be our story time videos this was fun I like the last one you know how you almost died no, and uh, <laughs> and uh, and this one was fun on how we met love how we met love met love yeah. met love that's exactly how we met love how we met love not how we met a person but how we met love yep. <laughs> uh, so hope you guys enjoyed it uh, it was fun. I enjoyed it. It was, uh, it was a good time. It's always good when you're smiling. Absolutely. When you're having fun and you're smiling, Absolutely. it's good. So, thanks guys for watching. Make sure to like it if you did like it. Make sure to hit that subscribe because it does help us. And, you know, it will let you know when future videos come out. We do everything. If you're watching this for the first time and you're watching our channel, we do gaming, tech, vlogs, adventure, story times all types of stuff uh, all types of things so stay tuned for more things to come we're not gonna stop so we hope that you guys enjoy it too once again harris dalibor we'll see you guys in the next one